Hi, in this episode of Home Robotics, I'll be showing you how I made this remote control toy shark. Hi. So I want to really build a toy that my kids can play with and me not getting nervous about them breaking it or wrecking it. Um, due to the pandemic, there is actually a shortage of a certain type of timber that I use at the hardware store. So I found the, uh, this rubber mat in the garage, which I hadn't been using for a while. So I decided I'll just cut that up and use that as the main body. And it's proved to be quite handy and useful in that it's easy to fashion, easy to paint, and it's quite durable. I used rubber all around the body, tail, middle section, and the main body. The base is just a pretty little idea. I've also decided to use this remote control from an old robot. The robot still works, but I decided to reuse the remote control because it has the arrows, which will make it easy for my kids to use and understand. Uh, thus far, all my kids have done is run away from it or trying to kick it, but it has survived and I'm not nervous when they play with it, so that's a good sign. Let's have a closer look. This is the IR receiver and it's articulated to three segments these just these are just loose they're not connected to anything and there's some led on each side power switch and now i'll open this up and show you what's inside and here's what it looks like from the inside there's your battery pack, which is extracted from an old remote control helicopter, which no longer works. Switch, Arduino H-Bridge, and under is the Arduino Uno. And there's the one LED. And there's the second LED. Other than that, it's pretty simple. And uh, recharging is very simple. Just remove the top and plug this into the uh, charging port. So now that's sealed, we'll just give it a test run on the floor and show you how it goes. Thanks for watching. Uh, Over the next five minutes will be some uh, video montage of the construction process. See you next time.